Hiya guys, True Preview here. Today I'm reviewing the Madventure 360 action camera, currently sold on Amazon for £314.99. This waterproof action camera has two 190 degree lenses which captures everything within a 360 degree field of view. Each lens has an independent sensor which boasts a combined resolution of 7K. The camera is also capable of taking 24 megapixel photos and offers a wide range of photo and video modes. This review will discuss the pros and cons of this camera and will provide sample footage at the end. In the box you will find the action camera, a remote control selfie stick, a small tripod, a GoPro compatible mount, a USB charging cable, a protective case and a user manual. The manual is detailed and contains all of the information you need to get started. The first thing that you notice about this camera is the quality and attention to detail that has gone into everything from the packaging to the accessories. The accessories are excellent quality, far superior than any other action camera that I've used within this price range. One side of the camera you will find the micro SD card slot and the micro USB port. Please note that a micro SD card is not supplied and must be purchased separately. The operation of the camera is simple and intuitive with three buttons situated on top of the camera. To turn the camera on, press and hold the power and mode button as shown. You can navigate through the photo and video modes by pressing the power and mode button once. The second button is the Wi-Fi button. This allows you to connect to an Android or iOS device using the Madventure 360 app. The remaining button is the shutter and select button. This button is primarily used to start and stop recording. Lastly, there are a number of indicator lights on the front of the camera that show you what mode you are in. The Madventure 360 app is a must-have and is available on Android and iOS devices. The app allows you to change the camera settings, view, edit, publish and share your photos and videos. The app is well established and has many features that enable you to get the best out of your footage. As shown, the app lets you manipulate the footage so you can select your preferred angles from the 360 degree field of view. The footage can also be watched back in virtual reality. The inbuilt editing and publishing tool is simple, easy to use and is one of my favourite features of the camera. Now that I've provided an overview of the camera, the following clips demonstrate the quality of the camera in terms of its 4K video. The following clips have not been enhanced in any way. Having spent a while testing this camera, I believe it is direct competition for the likes of the GoPro Fusion, which is currently on the market for around £650. For less than half the price of the Fusion, the Madventure is, for me, the obvious choice. When testing, I did notice a little bit of lens flare in direct sunlight, but this was dependent on the orientation of the camera. I thought that the images were incredibly sharp and that the dynamic range was excellent. The automatic stitching performed on the Madventure app was well calibrated resulting in a seamless joint between the two images. I am really pleased and impressed with the app and have been told that a desktop application is still under development which I am keen to test when it is released. 
In summary, I'm very impressed with the camera and would recommend it to anyone looking to venture into the world of 360 cameras. I hope that you've enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.